What we're going to do here is a little experiment to try and determine the coefficient of friction between the um, calculator with its rubber feet down and the piece of wood here. So what I'm going to do is gradually lift the piece of wood up until we get to a point where the calculator is just about sliding. Okay, here we go gradually getting a little bit steeper and steeper so you can get to quite a steep angle with this and we get to a point now where the calculator is on the point of sliding. So it is just beginning to slide. So just ease back. There we are. That's the calculator now remaining still. Now Carrie, could you come and just hold the protractor so we can try and measure the angle. That's it. Slide it uh, up so that the um, centre point there is like that. That's looking good. And I reckon that's an angle of about 10, 20, 30, 40, around about 55, 56 degrees. Would you agree? Yeah, that looks right, 56 degrees. Excellent. So now we'll put the calculator down and we'll do a little calculation to come up with our value. The theory for the angle of friction, which you will have covered, tells us that if an object like the calculator is on the point of sliding at an angle of 56 degrees, then the coefficient of friction between the calculator and the slope can be calculated by simply finding the tan of that angle. In this case, the tan of 56 gives us a value of approximately 1.5. Sometimes people are surprised to see a coefficient of friction greater than 1, but this is always possible if the object can remain at rest on a slope which is inclined at an angle of greater than 45 degrees.